Hello, Magical Aries. Welcome to the Oracle of Lilith. My name's Amy, and I'm so glad you're here today. I hope you're doing well. If this is your first time to my channel, hi, hello, how are you? It's so good to have you. I hope you will consider subscribing to my channel. If you're a returning subscriber, hey guys, what's up? It's always good to connect with your energy. I enjoy doing these astrology readings and sessions, and I hope you enjoy them too. So, Aries, this is a, a general reading. It's a general session for August of 2021. And that's a timeless reading, so when you find it and it resonates, it's for you. But it's being done with the intention for August of 2021. Okay, so because it's a general reading, because it's a general session, Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. I do offer personal and private sessions. All that information is down in my description box. <sighs> I'm getting tongue tied. And, a, and my email address. And also if you feel guided to leave a donation, uh, my PayPal is down there as well. So I thank you guys and I appreciate you. So, all right, um, here we go. So I'm gonna pull first some general energies for August for you guys. And then I'm gonna do love, career, and um, money and then spirituality, health, and any other messages that spirit might have for you. I'm feeling Lilith's presence very strongly in your particular reading. I feel like she's wanting to come through with some messages for you guys. So just keep that in mind as well. All right, I'm gonna get one card. Woo, just one. This one, these two, you want two, okay. Whatever she says, that's what we do, so around here in these parts, right? Okay, I'm gonna pull one card from the Halloween Oracle. So far, you're the only uh, astrological sign that has gotten this deck, so yeah. And I'm gonna be using um, my Gothic Tarot, which is the tarot that Lilith likes to come through when she has some powerful messages. So it's the deck she told me to buy for her. So if that offers you some clarity. All right, I need one card or However many you feel. We got that one. Okay. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and flip this over. Mischief and play. Ha. Huh. Oh, Aries. It's time to lighten up a little bit. Triple spiral. Listen to divine wisdom and joyfully learning life's lessons. I feel like you're going to get a lot of intuitive hits. I feel like... Your guides are going to talk to you. I feel like Lilith may be the one talking to you, Aries. Your warrior spirit is very useful at this time. So just know uh, she may come through your dreams or whatever paradigm you resonate with. You may start getting more spirit contact. So just be open to that. We have insight opens the third eye to, re to strengthen intuition. So uh, Aries, you're going to have strong intuition in October. August of 2021. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to call in your guides, your architect types, your God forms, whatever, of whatever paradigm you resonate with, of um, what your particular frequency is. I'm getting so tongue tied, Aries. I don't know what's going on. Maybe, maybe something needs to be said. Okay. So I'm calling in all of those positive, beautiful, abundant, expansive energies to come forward and bless us with the most powerful, insightful, and abundant building messages uh, that they can do at this time. So, all right, I'm going to do love I'm going to pull for love. Uh, I already told you that, didn't I? So I'm going to pull love first. So let's go ahead and shuffle up these cards. Uh, mischief and play. That's an interesting energy to be presenting. Okay, mischief and play. Um, I feel like for many Aries, you know, sometimes you just got to be ornery, you know. Uh, <laughs> Aries, I know you're good at being ornery, right? Uh, I am a Libra sun, and I have Libra. I have a Libra stellum. So uh, I tend to have a lot of Aries around me for some reason, and I raised two Aries. Um, and so anyway, uh, I know your energy sometimes can be very mischievous and playful. Um, just be aware that sometimes, hey, I'm just saying, sometimes um, that energy can be a little uh, much for others, okay? Because it's intense. It's not... It's not a passive kind of energy you carry. It's a very intense energy that you carry, all right? So even when you're playful, it's very intense, okay? And I'm feeling like a conquering warrior. That's what's coming to mind here in love. So there may be something that you're, there's maybe a goal you're trying to get to. Uh, Aries can be very goal-oriented. Um, but I'm feeling like 
I'm going to fight the good fight here. Okay. Um, I want to make it happen. That Those are the, the words that are coming out. Okay. I'm going to get one of these. Love. Lover's Oracle. Okay. Powerful card. Okay. Let's, we're going to go with, uh, Lilith's deck here. This is the, whoops, whoops, whoops what, what do we have flipped? Okay, we're going to take that one. But these, that one I'm going to flip over. Okay, we have the Eight of Swords here. So, you may be feeling like you're never going to accomplish, you're never going to move forward with your person, um, or you're never going to find your person, or that things are beyond repair. I'm going to get those two. I'm going to get one more. Feeling this one here. Let me take a quick drink. All right, let's see what we have going on. So let's flip these cards over first. Okay, we have very soon, clearly decide what you want so it comes to you now. So for some of you, y'all are making a decision in love. There's something you want to do or a person that you want to reach out to or, or something like that. And make the decision what you want to do and then go for it, Aries. Get ready. Let go of control issues. <laughs> Allow this situation to unfold naturally. Yeah, that's a tough one, Aries, I know, uh, because uh, I think I think sometimes you get like this because you really do have everyone's best intention at heart as far as safety goes, as far as being careful goes. So uh, I don't think it comes from like, uh, I want you to do this because I, it comes from a place of like, I, I think this is what's best for you. I think this is what will make you happy. Embrace through each other, you find the missing pieces. Yeah, that's beautiful energy. Okay, and what do we have here? Sorry, I'm singing. I, uh, okay, <laughs> we have the chariot. It's a beautiful dragon in this deck. I feel Lil Lilith's energy coming forward with this chariot here. We have the eight of swords. We have eight twice, 88. We have eight of cups. Eight of Cups, you guys. That's good. That's really good. Okay, we have the Eight of Swords. And, you know, um, in some alter alternative religions, we have a chalice and an athame. Together, they form the unity consciousness of the divine masculine and divine feminine. So I feel like this relationship that we're talking about here is probably your person. Um, if it's not your person, it is definitely, and I don't even like to use, I hate labels. So uh, an important or vital soulmate to your pathway. For some of you, it's, it's twins, twin flames. And I don't really like to use that terminology because it can get very destructive. But right now we don't have another name for this. It's a soulmate. It's someone who has known you in past life, who's coming together with you. And I feel like they're moving in. If you don't know this person very quickly, if, um, if you don't know each other and this is a new person, they're coming in very soon. So you need to finalize what you want this person to be like. What do you want in a relationship? What do you want in your person? How do you want them to be? You know, do they like to play baseball? Or, you know, what do you want in your person? Do you want them to be more compassionate? Do you want them to be more giving? What do you want? That's what you need to decide in love here. And if this is your person and you're with them right now, there is a deeper level of understanding coming together, okay? And um, I feel like you guys will understand. I feel like you may have opposing energies here. So they may have air in their chart. That's Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra. Uh, this may be a Libra we're talking about because that's your divine counterpart energy. We have the hanged man. And we have the Five of Cups here. So I feel like the Five of Cups uh, has to do with um, not being able to see what you offer, what you can offer someone in love, not being able to be um, be as giving as you want to. Maybe you've lost in love. Maybe you feel like a failure in love, like a like a warrior that ha that. Um, it's almost, I feel like a, a warrior, I'm seeing a warrior who's in the middle of a battlefield and they just sit down. Like you quit fighting. Um, and maybe you quit fighting for yourself and it has boiled over into your love life. And this is spirit coming through saying with the hangman, it's time to take a new, I'm hearing that song, New Attitude from the 80s, you know. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's time to take a new perspective, a new view. Um, and you may feel like you're a little bit in stagnation here, like you're not able to get moving forward. But with the chariot here, I'm seeing you moving forward to union. So either your person coming forward with embrace or um, you, your person, uh, you and your person getting uh, into a deeper level of uh, your relationship. And um, this is this is divine counterpart energy. Okay, so this is someone who may feel like they were made for you. Okay, they're just so perfect. Um, yet there may be this uh, this mischief and play energy where you're also so different that um, you can enjoy your differences. Okay, just be careful, Aries, because this mischief and play, like I said before, can get a lot of can get very intense. Okay, uh, I'm hearing the word now. Listen. Don't take it personally, but it can get a little irritating, all right? And that doesn't mean it's bad. It just means like some people don't understand it all the time, all right? So just keep that in mind, okay? So let's move into love. Love, not love, career and money. So Amy, we already heard about love. We want to hear about career and money. I want to know where my money is. Where is it coming from? Yeah, okay. Well, it's important that you're working for it. You work, work towards it, work for it, put your energy into it, Aries. Okay, I'm gonna pull these first, career and money, August of 2021. Career and money, August of 2021. Career and money, August of 2021 for Aries. Powerful, powerful Aries. Yeah, I'm feeling like you guys are getting focused. I'm seeing eyes, eyes are on you kind of energy in this area. You may not realize it, Aries, but you are absolutely being watched at work or in some kind of project. This is too many, this is too many. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna leave those, but I'm gonna shuffle the rest of this deck again because it feels, okay. I feel like some of you are being watched at work or watched by people, uh, scouted by, you know, companies or whatever to so um are you guys crooked so just know that know that you're being watched okay and this is a good thing it's not a bad thing it's a good thing Aries I feel like some of your connections may start to pan out like your network of people may help you get on your your job your work your career your money so be open to people coming in and giving you some advice or, you know, if someone comes in and says, hey, I may have a new job for you or hey, blah, blah, blah. Be sure to listen, okay, because it's coming forward for a reason. I feel like your angels, spirits, guides, ancestors, whatever, um, are trying to align you with something. And maybe you haven't been open to it in the past. You need to be open to it now, okay? Okay, I had to get a drink, you guys. Okay, I'm going to pull one from... Okay, they want me to pull again from the Halloween Oracle, so that's what we're going to do. Aries, 2021, money and career. 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 All right. Filling this one. Okay. Sorry if I brushed the microphone. Okay. What do we got here? Strength. Aries. This is you. You're very strong. Okay. Um, and for many of you, this has been a fight. And you're still fighting. Don't give up. You can do this. Okay. You can do it. All right. We have the Ten of Cups. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? This is in career. This is something you want. Okay, it's trying to manifest for you, Aries. So get on your game. Okay, um, this is something that makes you happy. It's something in work that makes you happy. It's some kind of work that you want to do or you are doing that makes you happy or will make you happy. You really need to move forward. I'm hearing quickly. I'm seeing Lilith. She's saying you need to move forward quickly to what you want to do. Okay, if you're not doing it, get on your game. If, uh, you have been sharpening your skills, but you need to go to the next level. Get on that journey. Do it because 
energy around you is trying to manifest an opportunity for you, but they cannot manifest it if you don't do the work. This may be in your current job as well, okay? So something making you happy in August. We have the Six of Swords. We have the Seven of Wands. We have Justice, that's Karma, and the Four of Pentacles. So yeah, okay, so we have this energy here of lack, okay? In your career and money. Maybe you're, you don't have a lot of money right now. Maybe you're not feeling really uh, wealthy or abundant. Uh, maybe all you see is what you don't have and it's time to see what you do have. I feel like also for many of you, the four of pentacles here, I'm feeling um, an opportunity coming towards you. That's going to make this four of pentacles energy uh, calm down this lack energy, okay? You need to connect with what makes you happy with the Ten of Cups here, strongly. Connect with it strongly, okay? It will get you out of this sense of lack or um, not having enough is lack again. Uh, it's also kind of like um, lack of support, lack of focus. I'm feeling like Aries, it's time for you to get focused, okay? We have the Six of Swords here, um, and I'm going to clarify that with the uh, Art Nouveau Tarot, okay? All right, tell me more about the Six of Swords. It, it doesn't feel really great. Yeah, it doesn't feel great. Whoa, wow. Okay, I literally got the message that some of you feel like you've thrown this away. You threw your, away your opportunity in this area. It's going to come out of nowhere with the Four of Cups. It's interesting because I'm feeling the Four of Cups with the four, with the four of Pentacles. Yeah, that's Four of Pentacles. With the Four of Pentacles here, I feel like this, uh, this state of lack is really going to be taken care of out of nowhere. Okay, something's coming to, it could be money, it could be an opportunity, this opportunity that Lilith is saying very strongly, they're trying to manifest for you, you've got to get on it, okay, it's going to come out of nowhere, so it's really important, the seven of wands energy, you guys, uh, I'm feeling like, let's see, I'm feeling like it's time for you to fight for what you want, okay, I'm hearing that Beastie Boys song, fight for your right, the party, that song, um, I'm feeling like it's time to fight for what you want, because the wheel of karma is turning in your favor, this is justice, this is justice for Aries and career and money, okay, so I feel like for a lot of you, the lack you're feeling is going to be overcome by you moving towards, um, you're moving towards something you want to do, something that makes you very happy. Okay, I got three cards here. Um, and so what it means, what I'm picking up is while you're getting on your happy, doing your business, getting yourself together, moving forward, an opportunity is going to come forward for you. I feel like August, th that it's important for you to get on whatever it is. Take whatever steps. I don't care how small they are. Take them because this is the energy you're moving towards in August, okay, so we're going to see it manifest in coming months, that's what I'm hearing, we have the page of pentacles, so I feel like while you're doing this work, I feel like there will be, um, there will be money that comes that will help you know you're moving in the right, the right direction, your money, okay, your manifestations, the things, the resources, the abundance, the people around you are going to be signs that this happy connection in your career money is manifesting, okay, so uh, don't be afraid to invest your money in what you love, don't be afraid to invest in a business, don't be afraid, afraid to get it started, because good things are coming, we have the five of swords here, so five and six of swords presenting, and we have the three of cups, so you may be in this energy of, like, I don't know which way to go, this, this card is often about, you know, a fight won or lost, and the victor deciding which way to go. Do you go with the victor or do you move on on your own? The three of cups here is about connections, it's about happy connections. So these are positive people moving towards you as you're working on, and I'm feeling life purpose here. They're trying to get you on your life purpose. If you don't feel like you've been on it, do what you love. What do you love to do, Aries? If you don't know what this is, August is the month for you to figure it out, okay? And make whatever moves you can towards it. They can be very small. It doesn't matter because this is manifesting, all right? So we have to allow things to manifest for us. Okay, let's move on to, to spirit and um, 
health and whatever messages the other guides or all the guides what whichever present uh have coming forward for you so okay we're going to take that one as well okay they want me to pull again from this halloween oracle i saw the lilith card it's not really the lilith lilith card but when i see it i'm always like this one right here whenever i see the owl whenever i see this owl i always I always connect it with Lilith, so we'll see what we get out of this deck here. Okay, spirit, guides, ancestors, angels of whatever paradigm, what do you have uh, for Aries? We have the earthly weaver of worlds, okay? You, again, the message is you're manifesting. You are putting energy into what you're going to be manifesting in August, okay? It's really important how you talk to yourself, Aries, you can't talk to yourself like you would uh, other people, okay? Like, you can't, what I'm saying is, is that, okay, how do I say this? You cannot, um, you need to talk to yourself like you do other people, okay? So, you know, be nice, be kind to yourself, you know? Um, and uh, be patient. Be patient, okay? I'm hearing that over and over. You're not known for your patience here. Um, and uh, your guides, your an ancestors are strongly saying you need to be patient. This takes time. You're healing, um, you're healing up your bloodline. And, you know, that's just a side effect. It's not the goal here. But you're healing blocks in your bloodline, Aries. And it takes time. It takes time to do this. So, you know, be good to yourself. I'm hearing be good to yourself. Aries, you need to um, find comfort this month in what you can. So it's time for you to nurture yourself, um, nurture your inner child, I mean, play and at mischief. So you literally might need to play some video games and, you know, eat some gummies and uh, be happy. You know, you may need to spend more time doing the things that you would as a kid. Maybe you've gotten away from it. Maybe you've gotten in your head and you forgot how to have fun. It's time for you to revisit those things that make you happy. Okay. You know, if you like to go, um, you know, if you like to garden or and stuff like that, it's, it's time to do that. I'm seeing a new perspective. I don't read reversals, so new perspective. Got a new attitude. I that song came through for Sagittarius too. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, we have the Ten of Cups, you guys. <laughs> this has been coming out for the fire signs like crazy. Um, yeah, that's crazy. Okay, let's get. We're gonna get two more. Okay, this is a good message, you guys. You are being so guided. Okay, you may feel like you're in stagnation, but you just need to know that you're not. And in August, just be open to doing what you love for money in some way. Let that pattern, let that um, possibility unfold for you. We've got the King of Cups here. It's time to be compassionate to yourself and others. It's time to nurture. I'm feeling with this uh, page of cups here, I'm feeling like you really need to nurture your inner child more. Magician, okay, and we have the Ten of Wands. I got to pull one more. I'm trying to get all those on. Um, all those on the uh, the table here. We got the Eight of Pentacles. All right. Okay. Here we go. This is great. This is crazy energy, you guys. So it's time for you to take a new a new look at your life. Okay. Uh, what you want to do. You need to focus on what makes you happy. All right. This isn't about what makes, uh, you know, your partner happy or what makes uh, your family happy or your, even your boss. This is about what makes you happy. If you're in a job that you do not like, it's time for you to start looking. Okay. They are trying to manifest some major opportunities for Aries, but Aries, you, you've got to move. Okay. You've got to move. You have everything you need. You may not think you do, but you do. You need to look around, okay? Um, so we have Ten of Wands here. That's accomplishment. Ten of Cups. We have the Page of Cups here. This is opportunity coming towards you. It could be love as well. Um, and we have the Eight of Pentacles here. Work on your stuff. Work on your stuff. And we have the King of Cups. So it's really important that you take care of yourself. You work on your stuff. Be happy. Um, listen to your guides. Listen to your intuitive hits. If a song repeats for you, Aries, take note of the lyrics. If uh, something in a if a certain movie kind of hits you a certain way, watch it again. Get the message for you because 
a lot of our uh, spiritual languages are hidden in our everyday happenings. And a lot of that has to do with entertainment, um, where we spend our time as well. For some of you, this is very odd. Okay, but there's something about screen names coming forward for Aries. So pay attention to the people who follow you and their screen names. There may be a message in that for you. I've never gotten that, so that's new. <laughs> so I'm feeling like in August, a spirit is wanting you to know there's major accomplishment. And it's important that uh, I'm feeling burden here, burdens that are affecting maybe your health. It's time to pick those up, move into an, a compassionate place and take care of yourself. Okay, get some rest, maybe drink some water and um, get yourself together because you're moving towards a happy new perspective. Happiness is coming for you. I feel like uh, this energy of maybe feeling a little stagnant is going to start moving here, although we don't have the chariot. So I don't feel like spirit's going to uh, bring in energy to help carry you. I feel like it's vital that you do this for yourself. You do this for your inner child, okay? You do it for the parts of yourself that still is striving to manifest. Because no matter where you are in your life, there's a part of you that still wants this Ten of Cups energy. This, what wants you, want what you want wants you, okay? There's an, a mutual attraction here with these two tens. So this again is your guides coming through and saying, we're trying to manifest for you, but you've got to work at it, okay? Uh, if you're wanting a new job, go look for a new job. If you're wanting a new person, then it's time to be open to that. If you haven't had a person in your life in a while, they're coming, okay? So you need to get open to that. You need to move on with your baggage, okay? And uh, the King of Cups can often be about romance and things like that. So this could be Aries starting to get rom more romantic with their person. Uh, this could be... Uh, Aries finding their person, okay, or them finding you and coming forward. But there's an element from spirit. I'm feeling my hand chakras open up. There's an element from spirit here that is saying you have to work on this, okay? You have got to work on this energy. It is vital that you get in your game, okay? Get on your game. Make it happen. All right, I'm going to get some more cards for you. Any more advice for Aries for August of 2021? Any more advice? For Aries, for August of 2021. All right. Oh, I threw that, didn't I? Your hard work is paying off. So the hard work that you're putting in to your life moving forward, this is accomplishment many times, uh, is going to bring you the Ten of Cups. It's going to bring you happiness, stability, harmony, peace there's joy coming through for you guys so be be aware okay this this is on the horizon for you and if you can get into this joyful energy now do it the cards say you can with the magician energy uh, it's time for aries to get happy okay learn from your mistakes and get happy all right i'm feeling crown chakra energy you may have some crown chakra healing or energy that comes through for you Okay, we got two more cards here. Adjustments are required. Step out of your comfort zone. That's the adjustment, okay? This is just validating what I've been saying. It's time for you to get on your work, Aries. Whatever you're being called to do, it's time to align with it because they want to bring in opportunities, abundance, and happiness for you and accomplishment. This is something that you're going to be doing that makes you happy. You know, uh, work is always work, right? But I know for me, doing what I love makes work so much more fun and there's so much more growth when you do what you love instead of forcing yourself to fit a mold that doesn't mean that you don't have a job that pays the bills but you won't find emotional fulfillment in that this is about you doing a job even part-time um that makes you happy it may start off as a hobby and that's okay that's a move forward all right so it's just really about putting some momentum out there so spirit has something more to work with okay all right, Aries, that's what I got for you for August of 2021. I hope this resonated. If it did or it didn't, please leave me a comment in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear from you guys. I hope you have a beautiful August, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys.